Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, wine today, Villa Maria Rosé from Hawke's Bay 2013. Ah, I'm not sure what it's made from, but uh, I know they used to do a little bit of, uh, some, certainly some rosé from Merlot. Maybe there's a few other grapes in, in here that uh, makes it uh, makes them unable to put 100% Merlot on the label. But anyway, let's just uh, give it a whirl. and I'll, I'll flash up something so you can, if, if I find out what's in it, you'll be able to find out. There's a gentle fruitiness about this. I can't say it's, uh, it's got a huge amount of uh, personality when I come to smell it. It just smells like it's going to be rounded, fresh, uh, but it's, um, it's not letting you forget that it's made from red grapes. There is a, a, a touch of the blackberry, blackcurrant in there as well, alongside the, so maybe apple and blackberry pie, that, that, that type of character. It smells nice. When I taste it, um, I'm not sure whether they've left some residual sugar in there. There's a, uh, a slightly claggy, cloying richness about it. Um, and um, fruit flavours, it actually smells better than it tastes. It's, it, it's okay, um, but um, uh, it, I, I almost want a little bit uh, more freshness and purity about it. This feels quite syrupy and, uh, uh, and yeah, I don't know whether it's residual, but um, if, I find, if I'm able to find out, first of all, what's in it, and then also what's the residual sugar, because we all need to know things like that, don't we? Um, then I'll let you know. But hey, it's uh, not really, I not, haven't got me jumping up and down. I'd probably finish a glass, but I probably want a gla another glass of something else. See you soon.